Hello and welcome back to IT Security Labs. Today I'm going to show you how to install Security Onion in your lab environment at home so you can learn a lot of things about cybersecurity. Over the past two weeks, I've been working with Surikara and Zeke, also formerly known as Bro. I have these two videos that I installed Zeke and Surikara from scratch. And a lot of people kept asking me why I was going through that process, but not just using Security Onion. And over the past, I've used Security Onion, but this time I want to understand all the pieces and how they get, get together. But today I'm going to show you how to install Security Onion in your own lab from the, from scratch. I'm going to show you specifically the hybrid, hybrid Hunter edition of Security Onion. This is a new version that they're still developing. So it's still in work in progress, but I have been trying it and it's wonderful. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the folks at Security Onion, Doug Burtz and his team. They're doing wonderful work and I really appreciate that. So all the credit goes to them. I just have to show you what you have to see from this new project that they're working on because I think it's great. So before I start showing you how to install Hybrid Hunter. If you're brand new to this channel, uh, Security Onion is a very free open source solution that allows us to uh, install it in our own labs. They've, there's a evaluation mode that you can install and play with it and learn all the skills that you are looking for. This is for a lot of people who want to learn cybersecurity skills uh, from threat hunting to network security monitoring, whatever you want to do, uh, you're most likely going to find it in here. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you the Hybrid Hunter, and this one comes with Grafana dashboards. And if you know anything about me is I love Grafana. And here, as you can see, we can actually monitor all the applications in our security onions. So after the, the, today's installation, you're going to end up with something that looks like this in your uh, Grafana dashboard. It also comes with the Hive, which is um, a better looking dashboard uh, for analytics. You can also add your endpoints here, which I will add, add a lot of endpoints. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll be showing you an updated version of this. Uh, this is a really, really wonderful solution. Once, once you install uh, everything, you're going to be met with this dashboard right here. So this is the typical security onion dashboard, just giving you a quick idea of what to look forward to. You still have your access to the Kibana is, is before. We actually now have um, playbooks that you can add. So this is where you can define um, your alerts. This is very important uh, for those who want to work in cybersecurity, especially uh, in incident response and detection. So this is a wonderful solution, I'm telling you. And right here, this um, monitors all of our sensors. And also, I was actually just reading a PCAP here. So there's a lot of things that you can see from this. And if you really want to learn, let's go ahead and install it in our lab right now. I'll show you every step that you need. This is the place to start. Uh, this is their GitHub page. They pretty much show you what is in this feature release. And also, first thing you need to do is download the ISO. Just click on this link and it will download for you. Then uh, verify that these hashes match to the ISO that you have, because uh, you want to make sure you're getting the right thing. And after you do that, read the warning. As you can see, this is just testing, bleeding edge. Uh, they don't provide you any support uh, other than uh, you can ask questions on their subreddit page, but um, don't put this in production because it's not supported. All right. Now that that is also out of the way, the first thing that we are going to fully understand are the requirements, minimum requirements, 12 gigs of RAM. Right off the bat, you need to uh, provide it with this much RAM, otherwise it will not work. Minimum four CPU cores and two network cards. If you have these resources, you're good to go. For me, I have two different versions uh, of Security Onion. But this is pretty much my network diagram. It's connected to the internet. I've shown you this before. Come, comes to Cisco Meraki. This is just for my lab, by the way. Then from there, I'm, I have this trunk port for my firewall to a layer 3 switch. The layer 3 switch now spans this port here. I take a copy of all the traffic. 
put it in this uh, span port right here and then this goes to my security onion so i'm getting all the wan traffic and here's my computer that i am here uh, a lot of people reached out to me last week and i was able to help you set up this to your specifications so if you have any questions uh make sure to reach out to me i will be able to help you with that so that's what i can do, you can do if you don't have um a server like i do you can set it up in a environment like this, this is vmware workstation i have a pfsense firewall router instead of cisco meraki i'm just using pfsense and then uh in in here i just i'm just using um the networking so let, if you go to preferences network as you can see now i have my mirror network created right here so this mirror network just um is what i connect my security onion to so it's very simple to set up once we have this infrastructure in place you're ready to go if you don't have the, the minimum requirements you can still make it happen but um it's just encouraged that you have those for me i'm running it in vmware esxi so here's my vcenter i'm actually going to apply my license soon so don't worry about that it's running right here so as you can see uh let me just show you how much resources i have I have eight CPU, 16 gigs of memory, and 160 gigs on the on the disk. So why don't we go ahead and start the installation? So to, to install in my VMware, I can just do an action. New virtual machine. I already downloaded my ISO and put it in my data store. So I'm creating new. So let me name this one Hunter 2 because I already have one right and in here I mean, this is just basic VMware setup selecting my storage my cluster I'm running out of storage there I'm redoing this lab by the way but uh, right here for the OS say Linux um, this is Ubuntu I believe Ubuntu 64 and next CPUs just give it eight let's give it eight gigs of RAM 160 on the hard drive I have one network uh, this one I want it to be in my distributed switch port group uh, then the second one I need to add a new device new network adapter this one I want it to be in my new mirror. That's where I'm I'm connected. I have another one called Port Mirror, and I have another one called New Mirror. This is just in VMware uh, creating a mirror mirrored port. I showed you in my previous videos uh, how to do this. And if you have any questions, let me know. So you say next. You verify that everything is good, and then finish. So now we have our Hunter 2 machine. The next thing is, uh, let's just, let's make sure that we mount our CD. And this one is going to come from my data store ISO file. And in here, I have an ISO, there we go. And here's the ISO, say okay. Connected power on, yes. And okay. So now we are ready to install the new security onion. If we do a power on, it'll boot to that ISO. Let me let me just launch it as a remote console. Open in VMware few file. So if once you boot, you get these options. What we want is the install security onion, the one on, on top, and hit enter. All right, do you wish to continue? Type the entire word yes to proceed. Yes, I want to continue. The password for the onion user, not the user is called onion. So the password I'm just going to create here. And from here, 
it's just automated this is going to store everything that i showed you at the beginning for you so we can grab a coffee uh let it do its thing and come back okay since it's still installing if you haven't subscribed uh if you watched this far please consider subscribing i'll be making more of these videos and it's fun to play with this stuff and learn so remember to like and subscribe before the end okay when installation is complete you will see this it says that uh, initial installation complete press enter as you can see then it will reboot make sure to remove your installation disk which i forgot so i need to come back to my virtual machine edit my settings disconnect that say okay you're faced with the login screen remember the username is onion and the password that you created at the beginning let's see if we get in there there we go so it says are you sure you want to install security new onion over the internet yes what is the name of my machine say okay please select the management network i want my first interface to be management but the second one is going to be my mirror network so this looks like a classic security onion um for ip address they are, it's encouraged that you put a static ip here so let's just put um 192 5 dot say 105 because why not yes that's the subnet mask gateway is 192.168.5.1 that's my labs default gateway dns uh not google 192.168.5.1 40 that's my lab dns server which is a windows dns uh name search is like he labs dot corp and okay please enter username for a new admin user uh that's what i'm going to call myself elma conem password okay and re-enter the password okay of course why would they match okay seriously okay There we go. Now here, this, this is where we have to decide what we want to do, right? If you are just trying it out like I am, just do evaluation mode and that's it. Then we'll move on. I made a point in, in my career where I need to know every single component and how it works, how the salt stack that they use works. So I prefer to install every node separately and go in the back end, understand the scripts that they have and the automation behind it. And that's the whole point of uh, me setting up this. I want to understand automation like Ansible um, and also salt stack and all those stuff. So, but for the purpose of this one, we, we're just going to say um, evaluation mode. Then okay. Uh, for, I don't want any updates since this is, um, cutting edge i want it to be manual but you can you can do what you want here second interface that was left is what we're going to be using for monitoring and hit okay uh enter a network separate by uh this uh i i have all those networks so i'm just going to leave these ones to default just in case i end up saving seeing them Please keep in mind the more services that you enable, the more RAM that is required. I gave this eight gigs, 
but um, the other machine is 16 so okay I want everything enter uh, you're going yes so again this is going to take a while to install everything and I'm just going to fast forward the video once it's done I'll show you what it looks like 